An IAM user's credential is a long-term credential. An IAM role, however, is a short-term credential to which one or more than one IAM policy is assigned. An IAM role is an IAM identity having specific permissions that you can create in your AWS account. An IAM role is similar to an IAM user. However, instead of being uniquely associated with one user, a role is intended to be assumable by anyone who needs that role. More importantly, a role does not have standard long-term credentials such as a username, password, or access keys. Instead, when assuming an IAM role, a temporary security credential is provided for the session. An IAM role is a short-term credential to which one or more than one IAM policy is assigned. Using an IAM is a best practice for accessing AWS resources from an EC2 instance. An EC2 instance can assume an IAM role when accessing AWS resources. When assuming a role to access an AWS resource, a temporary credential is generated to access the AWS resource. You should use IAM roles to grant access to your AWS account by relying on short-term credentials, which is a security best practice. Authorized identities, AWS services, or users from your identity provider can assume roles to make AWS requests. Sometimes you need an AWS service to perform some actions on your behalf. For example, an EC2 instance interacting with S3. In these situations, you will assign permissions to AWS services using IAM roles. Using an IAM role is the best practice for accessing AWS resources from an EC2 instance. An EC2 instance can assume an IAM role when accessing AWS resources. When assuming the role to access an AWS resource, a temporary credential is generated to access the AWS resource. You should use IAM roles to grant access to your AWS account by relying on short-term credentials, which is a security best practice. Authorized identities, AWS services, or users from your identity provider can assume roles to make AWS requests. Don't share security credentials between accounts to allow users from another AWS account to access resources in your account. Instead, use IAM roles. You can define a role that specifies the IAM user's permissions in the other account. You can also designate which IAM users are allowed to assume the role. Applications that run on EC2 instances and if they need to communicate with other services or resources, must include AWS credentials in the AWS API requests. One of the approaches is that developers could store AWS credentials directly within the EC2 instance and allow applications in that instance to use those credentials. But the issue with this approach is that developers would then have to manage the credentials and ensure that they securely pass the credentials to other instances or services. They will also have to update the credentials when it's time to rotate the credentials. That's a lot of additional work. Instead, you should use an IAM role to manage temporary credentials for applications that run on EC2 instances. When using a role, you don't have to distribute long-term credentials, such as username, password, or access keys, to an EC2 instance. Instead, the role supplies temporary permissions that applications can use when making calls to other AWS resources. When you launch an EC2 instance, you specify an IAM role to associate with the instance. Applications that run on the instance can use the role supplied temporary credentials to sign API requests.